The best UX an app can have is feeling like it belongs on your computer. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to design one entirely from scratch, from the layout to composition to those subtle macOS interactions that really make it pop. And by the end, you won't have just another website. You'll have a desktop app that looks and feels like Apple built it. And the one I built for this video, you can download it for free at the end. Now, to design like Apple, we first need to get comfortable in the UI and interaction that lives outside of the main window. For example, popovers, new windows, notifications, and so much more. Even third-party apps like Notion have pop-ups as soon as it detects a meeting, or apps like Paste, which seamlessly integrate at the bottom of the screen, just like the native top bar window view. To feel native, the app shouldn't be a destination, but a system, exactly where you need it. Because of this, thinking about how the user will actually interact with a final product is super important. Spotlight Search isn't very accessible with anything other than command space, and is draggable to anywhere you need it. Our integration will follow a design pattern very similar to that and Raycast, to appear when you need it and then immediately get out of the way. Our app will focus around saving design inspiration, and one of the biggest issues I find is you're doing other things when you find good inspiration. You're editing in Figma, then hopping over to code, and then jumping into Notion. So a keyboard shortcut, like Command Shift S to open a window would be great. Just like widgets that slide in quietly from the side or the edit panel, our window should stay out of the way and as minimal as possible. So we can go ahead and toss the traffic lights and just add the basics of a drop area, a simple input, and some buttons. Finally, I'll add in some keyboard shortcut reminders to those, and kind of like how Paste has a native blur, we'll add that in too. And I just can't help myself. When we press enter, I gotta have this collapse into a nice toast notification and then slide off the screen. Just like how this note-taking tool does something pretty similar to design a workflow that really works for you. These are also all good examples of optimistic UI, since we're processing and saving the image in the background, but we just assume that it will succeed, which is why we're optimistic. Apple Mail and many other applications follow this pattern, moving the email to trash before it's actually deleted off the server. Now, moving on to the main window, here's something that's crucial. The Notes app and the iPhone landing page might have similar UI components, but they're used completely differently. A landing page is all pre-generated content that doesn't really change, and an app is meant to hold the user's information that is added and manipulated. This means that apps are much more user-focused and is why almost all of Apple's utility apps, Finder, Notes, Reminders, Calendar, or even Settings all have a similar layout, with the top for global level actions, the sidebar for navigation, and the main content in the center. They're also wonderfully simple and good at doing one thing, so the UI can stay hyper-focused. You'll also notice that they all seamlessly integrate the traffic light actions into the UI, either in the top bar or the sidebar, treating them just like any other element. It's also important to note that the top roughly 50 pixels of their apps allow window dragging, which is a good reason not to clutter the top with actions and let it breathe more. We're gonna follow the same pattern, but since our navigation is super straightforward, really just browsing and searching, we can skip the sidebar entirely. That gives us extra room for large images since our UI is really just a container for the user's content. Doing this allows us to stay out of the way as much as possible. Now, speaking of staying out of the way, just like when you get a clear empty state when you have no notes, we'll have a simple empty state inviting the user to start saving inspiration. This is a form of progressive disclosure only showing the user what they need to see in that moment. All of the filters and other components are hidden because they simply aren't useful until the user starts saving inspiration. Another good example of this is when we do have images only showing all of the data when the user actually clicks on the image. So before adding colors or effects, ask yourself this, what is the minimum UI needed to really let that content shine? Now, at some point throughout designing this Mac app, I actually had to build it, which is why Matter by JetBrains has kindly agreed to sponsor today's video. Matter is an AI development companion that I used to prototype the UI for our actual app. So when I was designing the dashboard layout, once it was mocked up in Figma, instead of spending forever trying to code that sucker, I just added in my Figma link, described the functionality of Matter, and it built the whole preview in a live share format. Now, Matter is built for web applications, but the cool thing is the front-end code it generates works perfectly in the framework I used to turn it into a native Mac app. So I was able to prototype the entire UI in Matter, make a pull request, and keep building from there. If you're interested in checking it out, you can sign up to the early access waitlist with the first link down below. But it's because of the simplicity in our app that we actually have a lot of flexibility with colors. 
All Macs give the option to switch between light mode and dark mode, and those settings should be respected as much as possible. Directly inverting the colors looks okay. This is because dark mode requires colors that are more different from each other than light mode, since there's less light and less differentiation. When we directly invert to light mode, the contrast is much higher and it doesn't look stellar. If we collapse the colors to be more similar, it looks a lot more refined. Design light and dark mode not as exact opposites. They should feel different, but consistent. Now, you'll notice with every native Mac app, music, shortcuts, weather, everything has search, and it's always prominent and accessible. Now, many powerful softwares have a command palette or a universal search, like Notion, Obsidian, or Atio. And that was a consideration for this search since it's sleek and an intuitive design. However, most of those menu items take you to an entirely new screen. And with the goal of remaining largely a one screen application like most of Apple's utilities, I opted for a floating search bar and a slide out preview instead. Using a bit of image recognition, we can search based on what's actually in the image instead of just by titles. We could search for mobile app with houses and a calendar and actually get relevant results. For image-based searching, I opted to put that into our sidebar slideout and show just a few relevant results for each image. Because of that, and since the browsing and search pages look quite similar, we'll add the search results count to the search bar and an X to clear, and then the search query to the top left along with an arrow to go back to browse. Now, macOS is obviously filled with a ton of keyboard shortcuts. Command space for spotlight, command tab to switch apps, and command W to close tabs. Just look at this list of shortcuts in reminders. The point is, they're important, but arguably just as important is the visual feedback from it. If you don't see a change, you assume that something went wrong. That's why micro animations, or at least a state change, are instrumental. Command Shift S slides out our quick save panel, Escape slides it away, and Enter transforms it into our toast notification. And the same is true about our main dashboard. We have our search bar down here at the bottom, but in an effort to stay out of the way until the user needs the tool, we'll collapse it down and clicking or triggering the shortcut beautifully expands it to full size so that every interaction has immediate feedback. But to make a user experience that truly feels effortless, drag and drop of anything, anywhere is a must. Apple's got this down to a science, whether it's the Photos app, Finder of course, Reminders, Shortcuts, on and on. Getting content into the app is pretty straightforward. We just drop it into the quick save window and it's done. But getting content out is even better. Just grab whatever you need and drag it into Figma, Finder, or wherever else from anywhere within the app. Now, on almost all apps, you'll often find Apple's universal share button because sometimes that is just more convenient. So following on to our floating search bar, we'll also have a floating action bar in the preview slide out to copy, find, or delete to keep those easy to access. This is exactly what Apple nails, actions that feel so natural that you don't even think about them as features. But just because this is a desktop application doesn't mean we should forget about onboarding like all good mobile apps have. This this isn't super standard for Apple apps, but something like Raycast has a pretty immaculate onboarding process. Ours will admittedly be simpler with just a modal that pops up with some sweet micro interactions. The way to close it is to execute the shortcut and have the quick save window pop out. It's important to educate the users on keyboard shortcuts since they're very powerful but also easy to forget, which is why Google has a cheat sheet that is ironically triggered by another keyboard shortcut. Our cheat sheet will be in the settings popover along with the side that the quick save panel pops out from and the light and dark mode settings. And that is everything you'll need to be able to design your very first macOS app UI from scratch. If you're interested in checking out Matter, it'll be the first link down below. And if you wanna download the actual app we built in this video, that link will be down there too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.